Hello and welcome to a brand new series called Fossil Frenzy. This is a little bit different than what we thought we were going to start with, but since it is Fossil Friday and our first We Spent the Night with Sue video hit 2,000 views today, we thought we would deliver something special. And so yes, we are looking at this uh, Hell Creek collection I have. In particular, a very well-known dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And why am I doing this? Well, the Hell Creek Formation, obviously, is where Tyrannosaurus was found. And because our We Spent the Night with Sue video hit 2,000 views, we thought we would deliver an extra special, an in-depth look at the Sue, the T-Rex experience that is here right now in Denver, Colorado. And that way, if you can't make it, at least you can hopefully watch this video and see what it was all about. So right off the bat, as you make your way upstairs, you'll see Tiny the Taurosaurus, which has been brought out and displayed because of the Sioux exhibition. Now Tiny was found in Thornton, Colorado, and is one of the most complete Taurosauruses found, and really might put to bed the Triceratops and Taurosaurus debate. Having grown up with the story of Sue and having seen Sue multiple times in the Field Museum in Chicago, Illinois, I was excited to see Sue again, but I was really excited to see the model by Blue Rhino Studio, and I was not disappointed. <laughs> Sammy, you ready? That's intense.
Do one of you guys want to like put your hand on the tooth? Yes, yeah, says please touch. Because it's not real. Yeah, it's just, it's a cast. This is how they found the school. Oh, yeah. And speaking when they uh, found her, if you want to check out some more material, we'll definitely put some in the description below. And we just did a review on Dinosaur 13, so if you want to check that out, Click that link above. So juvenile tyrannosaurs actually looked quite different from the adults and actually led some people to think they were a different species called nanotyrannus. Alright, to just cut in just for a second while we're looking at that bone of the Littleton Tyrannosaurus, just wanted to put a little uh, video and look at the cast of its tooth. It's a little worn, obviously, compared to some others, but still pretty cool. Like I said, compared to some others, it is worn. As you can see, not too much there, but on this one, you can definitely see the serrations. So, yeah, just a little cool fun fact. Triceratops. Mm -hmm. 
You're standing in front of one of the largest predators to ever walk the earth, a Tyrannosaurus rex. And this T-Rex is named Sue. Sue is the most complete, best preserved T-Rex ever found. And that means we can tell this dinosaur story in detail. Sue lived about 67 million years ago in what is now South Dakota. At the time, the landscape was lush and humid, quenched by rivers winding across forested floodplains. This was near the end of the age of dinosaurs, not long before an asteroid impact changed life on Earth forever. T. rex was well adapted to surviving these forests. Powerful leg muscles helped Sue move quickly over short distances, perfect for ambushing prey in the trees. These jaws could bite down with a force of 8,000 pounds per square inch, enough to crush a pickup truck. Sue needed that bone-shattering bite to bring down giant, dangerous prey. But hunting other dinosaurs wasn't always easy. Even a top predator like Sue risked injury. A close look at the skeleton reveals the evidence. These broken and healed over ribs are among more than a dozen injuries to Sue's bones. Sue managed to survive to old age, but over time, arthritis ravaged these heel joints and fused them together, making it impossible for them to move. Now look down at this leg bone. Its lumpy, deformed shape was probably caused by an infection. If you look up at the jaw, you'll see some holes. These may be the result of a disease Sue got from eating infected prey. This jaw infection may have made it so painful to eat that Sue eventually starved. But we don't know everything. There are still some big questions out there. Was Sue male or female? What were those tiny arms used for? Did T-Rex have feathers? Did they hunt in packs or alone? We've learned so much about T-Rex in the last hundred years. And with each new discovery, the more vividly we can see the towering, ferocious, battle-scarred predator that that Sue once was.
That's what they found in Curry's Field. I don't know. Because they found, that's why Dinger was existed, right? Mm-hmm. Because they, they found some bones. Or whatever. I told them sometime we'll go up to CU, because they have a museum at the campus. Their Triceratops school is like eight feet long. It's oh. massive. Yummy. Does it say where this one was from? Look at that. Look, they're all looking over there like, yeah, let's go back to eat. It wasn't us. <laughs> uh, yep. yep, they're like, well, it should be satiated now. Oh, look at it. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this Fossil Frenzy episode and want to see more, click that link to your top left. If you want to see our original We Spent the Night with Sue video, click the link to your bottom left. If you want to see more of what we do here at Cools Paranormal, click that link to your top right. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.